Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file. It was all black except for these were red. He wanted to know if there was a faster way. If you want to change these all red, you got to click on it and go over here and left click red, left click red. He wanted to know if there was an easier way or if you could make a keystroke. First, I didn't think it was going to work, but it actually does work. I'm going to click on my item. I'm going to hit alternate R, alternate R. I'm not having to move anything. I'm not even... I can continuously hold down the alternate button and I can just make it an R. So I can change those R to R. Now I made another one that's alternate B. It turned them blue. So I can change. So if I wanted something blue, like right there, I can make them blue just by hitting the B key for blue. Now that is one way to do it and it works good. Uh, at first, I didn't think it could be done, but uh, my Monster Macro, and I'm not uh, trying to tell you to buy it. It's pretty cheap, and it does a lot. You can almost do the same thing, but not as maybe good. So we're going to go to search, and we're going to search node counts. And we select the shape, and then we're going to go node node uh, curve node count and hit master shape, and then hit advanced, and we're going to turn all those blue all this all the shapes that had 16 nodes that changed the blue i don't know if you if you caught that but it's just advanced search and turn them yellow let's make it turquoise or let's make it black so you can see them again so that works but that only works with node counts and you'll find in if you didn't draw it if you use your shape key like there is six nodes on that one. There's six nodes on that one. And there's six nodes on that one. There might not always be six nodes or there might be more or less. So it doesn't always work. And if you use a six node, everything with six nodes is gonna have six nodes or change colors. Let's just use that as an example. Let's set master shape and let's take this shape right there in advanced search and turn them all red. See it turned that one red and, and some of these red. So that doesn't work particularly good in this case. So how did I make the macro to uh, turn that colors? So let's just go over this again. Pick your shape, alternate R, alternate R. Alternate or, or alternate B, you know, you don't have to move around. So how I did that is just go up to your macros. Mine is up here. Your might be under tools, scripts. If you have 2019 and above, if you've got 2018 and below, it'll be macros. So we're going to start recording a macro and we're going to call it green. You think I could spell and then hit OK. And then grab a shape and then left click green and you're done. Stop recording. Grab the macro manager or script manager, pick a shape that's not green and double click on the green. And it didn't work. Let's do that again. Let's erase that macro. I And remove this. Start recording, call it green again. I don't know why it didn't work. Maybe I have to, you've got to have something selected to turn it green. Stop recording. Green is right there. Let's grab this shape. Double click, it worked that time. I think I was trying to, I don't have to left click even though this is an outline. You have to, well, I do have to out. I was right clicking like you would an outline. So we can turn all those green. Well, how did I get the keystroke? Get on the green and right click, assign a keyboard stroke. It already brings it up and just type in alternate G. Uh, like control G is group. You might even get away with G. Let's see what G is taken. See, G is interactive feel. If you don't ever use it, you can override it. So let's go alternate G. I need to start over. Alternate G, hit assign and then hit okay. Now we'll take this 
let's zoom in here. We'll go to these inner shapes and we're gonna go alternate G, alternate G. So I can keep my hand on the alternate, I can just keep hitting the G. So this would help somebody. If you want that one red, alternate R, alternate B. Anyway, I hope that's what he was wanting and I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.